In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some beautiful images of your code, just like this one. Let's begin. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adi Pordila. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take your code from your normal editor and uh, turn it into an image with syntax highlighting, different backgrounds, um, different frames around it. Uh, and of course, you can take that image and share it wherever you like, either on uh, your blog, social media, uh, share it with your teammates, whatever it is you want to do with it. I'm going to show you a couple of tools uh, you can use to make this task really, really simple. So let's begin. The first tool I want to show you is called Ray. Uh, it's made by a company called Raycast, and you can find it at ray.so. Now, this is super simple to use. It works in the browser. Uh, what you can do is simply paste in your code. I have some uh, CSS code that I pasted in here. And as you can see under language, this automatically selected CSS. You can also manually select your uh, programming language here, and that will automatically apply the correct syntax highlighting to your code. Now, while you're in here, you can, of course, make changes to your code as you see fit. And then you can change the background colors that you see here. So this is candy. This is what breeze looks like, midnight and sunset. And as you can see, this container it's kind of translucent. It borrows some of the colors from your background, which I think it's really, really cool. Uh, you can turn the background on or off. And if you turn it off, it's just going to export this frame as a transparent image. Uh, you can also enable a dark mode, which uh, looks fantastic, especially with a background. Here's what it looks like without a background. And then you can change the padding from these four presets. So less padding, more, and even more. Uh, notice this doesn't change the padding inside the actual editor image. It changes the padding of the background. And then once you're done making the changes here, you can simply download the image. And there you go. That's your PNG image. Pretty cool. Now, you can change the size of this image by clicking on these two handles on the sides. And as you can see, the code inside just changes automatically. Or you can click this little X button to set the width to auto. So it's basically gonna automatically adjust the width of this image, depending on what code you have inside. So if we delete this, and if we delete this, the image now gets smaller and smaller. You can also add a title. And there are also some very handy keyboard shortcuts that you can use. For example, you can cycle between colors with the keyboard shortcut C. And that's going to cycle through the available background colors. You can press B to turn the background on and off. And there are a couple of more that you can use. Simply uh, click on this uh, button and check out the rest of the keyboard shortcuts here. So this is a free product. It works in the browser. And obviously, because of that, it works on every operating system out there. Uh, there are also some uh, alternatives. Like for example, Petrify. This is also pretty cool. It does roughly the same thing. Uh, the difference with this is it's uh, a standalone app and it only works on uh, Mac OS. And you can find the app right here, dangercove.com slash petrify. And this is actually based on the Carbon project, which can be found at carbon.now.sh. This works roughly in uh, the same way. You can paste in your code here. It's going to automatically detect what language you're using, but you can also specify it yourself. 
uh, you can change the syntax highlighting theme from uh, this drop down here. So right now it's set to SETI. This is what Pareso looks like. This is Panda. So, you know, just find the one that you need or you like using this drop down. Uh, you can also change the color of the background. You can also upload an image if you want custom or from uh, Unsplash. Uh, you also have some uh, options here. You can create various presets. You can uh, change the window controls right here. If you're going for a more minimal look or maybe you want this Mac OS look and feel, you can decide whether or not to use drop shadows, uh, auto adjust width, use a watermark if you want. So uh, this is a bit more complex than uh, the one that I showed you here. It has a lot more options. It's also free. It works in the browser. And of course, once you're uh, done with this, you can uh, export that image in uh, various sizes uh, as a PNG or an SVG. So this is a pretty cool option. The only downside uh, to this is that you don't have those um, gradient backgrounds like you do on Ray. So, you know, both of these work just fine. It really depends on how you want your um, code images to look like. Now, if you're wondering where you could use these, well, obviously because this is an image, people will not be able to copy uh, that code directly simply by selecting it. But, you know, it works great for, you know, when you write a blog post, and you just have some uh, very short samples of code or when you're writing a documentation and you want to feature some code, you can do it in a beautiful image format like this or you know, maybe even on Instagram uh, or social media. If you're doing like tips and tricks and you want to showcase uh, some very small snippets of code, this is actually a great uh, way of doing that. So that's about it for this video. Uh, I'm sure if you Google, um, you know, image from code, you'll find a few more tools. But uh, these are the ones that I know of and I occasionally uh, use them. So hopefully you like this video. If you did, make sure to uh, click that uh, uh, thumbs up button and also subscribe for more content like this. I'm Adi, thanks very much for watching and until next time, take care.